SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com, also in your local bookstore. Let's consider business intelligence development using SQL Server data tools, SSDT. So we are in SQL Server Data Tools. It is a customized version of Visual Studio 10. We are in Report Designer. The currently active project is a catalog of adventure work cycle. The fictional bike manufacturer invented by Microsoft staff. Let's check out the report logic part. So this is the report logic. For example, dealer is an expression. So if we right click expression, we see the actual expression. It's, it's e if is nothing. So if there is no standard cost assigned, then call is displayed, probably call on the telephone to find out the cost, otherwise the cost is displayed. Let's check out product number and uh, that just uh, the product number value. If uh, we do expression we'll see that uh, it's the same name product number when we have grouping that's the highest level of grouping the group properties it's product category next level is product subcategory and just before the detail the final is product model. Let's uh, test, preview the report. So on the left sidebar we can see the highest level is the product category. We are in uh, SQL Server 2012 but the report actually was converted from 2008 R2. So we can drill down. This is an interactive report. So these are the categories. We can drill down to subcategories. Then we can drill down to models. So when we click on a model, for example this one, it is loaded in the viewer on the right hand side. So this is the 550W, probably the reference for uh, women. It's a bike designed for women. And uh, for example, this is 450. This is also a road bike. Let's return to the report designer. We have, for example, the properties uh, window which shows all the properties of a, a particular cell. We also have Solution Explorer, which shows the current solution, the shared data sources, shared data sets, and also the reports. This is the current report, which is in the designer. We also have Server Explorer, where we can connect to SQL Server, and um, explore 
the databases. So to get rid of uh, red X, we have to refresh the connection. When we can drill down, and uh, for example, we can see the functions drill down. Just like if, uh, similarly, if it would be Management Studio Object Explorer. Here are the functions. Let's minimize Server Explorer and also Solution Explorer. SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, is a replacement for BIDS, Business Intelligence Development Studio, which was uh, the Business Intelligence Tool for SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server 2008. So for SQL Server 2012, we have a new tool, although it works pretty much like the previous tool, BITS Business Intelligence Development Studio. So this is the report design and report preview environment. Also there is build facility to deploy finished reports. The same environment shared for uh, SSIS, integration services, package design and testing. So let's launch the SSIS sample, recent projects and solutions. And here is SSIS data flow basics. So we have uh, the SSIS project loaded in uh, the designer. We are in the same data tools Visual Studio environment as for reports, but the template is different. This is the SSIS template. For example, we'll see Connection Manager. Also, we see red circle with X that's indicating that uh, the setup of this uh, particular task is uh, not complete or not valid. So we are in control flow and the control can go the success way or can go the failure way. This is the first major environment in SSIS designing the control flow and the second major environment is the data flow. So we see the red axis here too and very likely if we fix the red axis by properly defining uh, this um, item which is uh, the destination then the red X will go away in control flow as well. So what this is telling us well is a flat file source it goes into a conditional split and there is an error output as well to flat file and expensive products are going to expensive products table and uh, the rest are going to the normal products table and if we right click we can add it the destination two ways we can do edit and we can do show advanced editor as well even for more options so let's enter the edit So this is where we configure the destination table and once we configure it uh, correctly, it's uh, the red circle X is going to go away. We just cancel out. When developing a package, uh, we can um, 
we can test the package if it works correctly when very very built facilities to build the entire package and also deploy it so i mapped um, the destination expensive products table to AdventureWorks 2012 and the normal products table to AdventureWorks 2012 so the red axis went away and also now the control flow is correct that went away as well when uh, a package is created from the uh, graphical design it is in XML format so this is the designer for SSIS packages. Let's go into the designer for uh, SSAS OLAP cubes. File, recent projects, and this is a multi dimensional cube. It's called sometimes SSAS cubes, also it is called OLAP cubes. OLAP cube is the generic name. It is based on a data warehouse table with uh, facts tables and dimension tables. So basically the fact tables are the measures we see such as reseller sales and the dimension tables are date related, customer related, this is a uh, reseller, geography, employee, product. For example, if we drill down on the reseller dimension, we see the actual hierarchies which uh, will be used by uh, the all up cube consumer which may be end user using it from excel or maybe programmers uh, programming it uh, with the mdx language to test the all up cube there is a browser in the edit environment so we are entering the browser so we are in the cube browser. First, let's drag in some uh, measures. So these are the fact tables in the data warehouse. For example, reseller sales. And let's drag in the sales amount, which is 80 million. So this is the entire sales amount, whatever is in the database. There is no breakdown, so we use the dimension tables to get some uh, breakdown of the total sales. For example, we can do it by geography. And uh, here is a geography hierarchy. We can just grab it and drop it in. So this is the hierarchy, this is a country, state province city postal code and this is australia and this is the united states now if we are not interested in the postal code we can just grab it and return it to the uh, dimension area in the left window so now we have country, state, province, and city, and the reseller sales amount. And this is the United States. When we are finished uh, inspecting the data, we can uh, return to the cube designer. Summary, SQL Server Data Tools, SSDT, is the business intelligence development studio environment for SQL Server 2012. It is uh, 
following bids, which was uh, Business Intelligence Development Studio for SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server 2008. This is the end of a short demo.